<sighs> yes, I just got up a little while ago. Was up till about 1 a.m. Trying to get my uh, next video uploaded. It just won't go. It's a failure all the time. Oh well. So we are still at the Loves here in Quanah, Texas. So as I, when I got here, you know, thinking about the load that I'm supposed to be picking up now, which should have been today. I should have been there right now picking it up, but delayed until tomorrow so I got a whole day to do nothing just getting the people that active There we go. Check to see if there's any messages. All right. Oh, but yesterday I you know opened up my permit book. I have right here so you know you know you got your your registration and inspection sheets for the truck and trailer and blah 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 the insurance information yeah yeah and then you know we got our annual permits for all the states we have annual permits you know with you know, California, this is special California stuff here, and blah, blah, blah. But of the states that I need to go through, I have, you know, these are some of the states that, I ha that we have annual permits with, you know. Okay, like Blackhawk County, specifically California, Florida, Georgia. Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, I have, which I have to go through Kansas. You know, I do not, there's, we, we have one with Texas, but that's for agricultural husbandry. It's what they call husbandry stuff, you know, so farm equipment. You know, Iowa, I'm not going through Iowa. Michigan, I'm not going through Michigan. Minnesota, I'm not going through Minnesota. Mississippi. Well, we're not going through Mississippi either, so. Montana, okay. Here's some information for Nebraska, which I'm going through, but this is not a permit. This is just, you know, some disclaimer information. The only place that I actually have a an annual is for Kansas, which looks like it'll apply for this trip. My load that I'm picking up should be nine foot six inches wide, and that occurs within this. It's over dimension on the trailer, trailer is eight foot six inches. I'm carrying an extra foot, so an extra six inches on each side. So it shouldn't, it's not supposed to be overly tall from what I'm what, what I'm being the information I've been given thus far. So it should be under 13.6. It should be under 126 feet. You know, it should be, you know, uh, or it should be under, you know, the, 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 the length for the uh, for the trailer, supposedly. It should be under the weight. Normal, normal legal weight. Supposedly. The only, the only dimension I was given that was over, you know, no, over your, your typical 
truck like these as they sit is the width. So I have a permit for Kansas. I do not have one for Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, or South Dakota. So I have to A, get loaded, B, measure and weigh the load, which you know basically do for every load anyway, you know. So Yeah, so you know I gotta do that, then I gotta you know figure out, you know, I gotta make sure that I'm setting the truck up properly. Flags on the load, flags on the truck, banner, whether I need my strobe lights on or not, hazard lights, run you know, my 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 headlights, marker lights, you know, all that jazz. What you know, I have to make sure that I'm doing that, you know, as each state, county, municipality that I'm going to be going through requires me to do. All right, so you know, is it? It's just one of the things. Make sure that that I'm following, you know, what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to do it. You know, yeah, I'm, you know, you get a bit of that nervousness because it's the first time you're, you're you're dealing with these uh, these rules and regulations. You want to make sure that they're correct. You know, so that you, the driver, don't get in trouble, you know. So, I mean, other people at the company do this every single day. They they've been doing it for a good while, so they don't they don't think about that. You know, like, once I get once I get used to it, I won't think about it either. So, you know, there's today is a lay around just kill the time kind of day so that's basically what we're doing you know I'm gonna actually gonna go inside here to and sit at the uh, sit at subway here and see if I can get a, an actual better signal for to try and upload video uh, but other than that not much doing. Okie dokie. Well, the accident down in Florida where the guy hit me on September the 1st. Apparently, the individual who who uh, was doing that improper U-turn apparently he's fighting it. So I got a, my my sister sent me pictures on through the uh, messages. Oh, excuse me. Uh, on September 11th. The a claim was filed, you know, a, a case was filed in Polk County, Florida, Winter Haven, Florida. I guess where Haynes City is, is, is located. Saying he's uh, apparently fighting the charge of an improper U-turn. In the parking lot at the uh, at the truck stop. So now I get to take time off from work. I get to talk to insurance. I get to talk to safety. I get to talk to police and the court again. You know. So, October the 24th, I have to be in Florida. Polk City, Florida. I have to spend money on an Uber. I have to spend money on, a, you know, on transportation to get there. I have to spend money to make sure I have a tie, a shirt, a pair of slacks, a pair of decent shoes. I have to buy all this stuff so I can properly go to court.
and basically just say the same exact thing that I had that I that I did for the police report. I mean, have video of the after effect, the aftermath of him, his vehicle, the damage, the location I was in, you know, how I positioned my vehicle. Well, you know, it's that's the nature of the game. Some people are just are just so willing to to fight you know, I, I, I don't I don't understand why he's fighting it. You no know, he he must to me it appears as if he's he's had driving issues before. And that's probably the nicest way to say it. My viewpoint, he's a total screw up and he's 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 caused a number of other accidents and had traffic fines for speeding, reckless driving, all those stuff. You know, I don't know the guy. I don't know the exact, you know, reason why. Maybe he's just the type of person that the, this is the first thing he's ever had a problem with and he's going to fight it tooth and nail to keep his record clean. That's also a possibility. But I don't know. I'm more inclined to believe the former versus the latter more inclined to believe that he's had a number of incidents where he's at fault <coughs> and now it's becoming a financial burden now it's becoming a problem with, with his being able to, to work properly you know it's becoming an insurance problem it's becoming a license problem it's becoming a work problem that's my that's what I think it is so he, so he probably figures it's it's worth his time and energy and money to fight it because he, he's gonna save a little bit later on if he if he wins but you know it, it, I don't know I, I don't I don't know what is in his head. I'm not a I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not omniscient. I'm not tele, a telepathic. I don't have a a statement of fact from him directly to me on camera or written or as anything other than you know what few words were exchanged in the parking lot, which was him saying, how do you want to handle this? That's all that he ever said to me. Not, I'm sorry, man, let's, let's get this taken care of. You know, blah, 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 blah. You know, any kind, any kind of, hey, I'm sorry, let, let, let's get this handled, you know, and taken care of. Let's get our reports, let's take our pictures, you know, you know, his, his thing was, how do you want to handle it? I, you know, I basically stated to him, what do you mean how you want to handle it? Call the police, get a police report and deal with it like we're supposed to. The insurance, our companies, you know, which is basically in effect what I said. What I, said. I can't remember verbatim, so, you know, this is not a statement of, of, of absolute fact.
I took my pictures and video. He took his pictures. I got his truck, his trailer number, license plate, truck number, license plate, all the numbers on the side, the make, model, color, company he was working at. You know, all that jazz. All right, we are cooking dinner. We got some pork tenderloin, you know, pork chop, you know, pork, uh, I don't know what you want to, what kind of cut you want to call that. Got some rice down there in the rice cooker, already done, ready to go. We got some vegetables. I got carrot, onion, green onion, snow peas. All mixed up in there and we're gonna take the uh, hot plate right there and we're gonna stir fry those up with a little bit of uh, soy sauce a bit of garlic black pepper we're, we're gonna make that nice so once those get you know nice and uh, cooked through and we got that on medium I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit let that cook a little bit slower then we're gonna take that those two uh, pieces we're gonna put it on the plate there we're gonna take the one of the pans the, the larger pan there put that on the uh, thing and then we will be able to uh, have a nice little dinner bag of rice some vegetables a little bit of kitchen tools a little bit of time and energy it all works. So we're going to have a better meal. I mean, I ate last night over here at... I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it through the sign there. But right over here, right behind that tree right there, you know, behind that Peterbilt, see the sign right there, uh, Duchess Restaurant. It was okay. It's really, really basic food it was okay I had enchilada had a beef and a cheese enchilada some uh, refried beans some lettuce a bit of rice some nacho chips and a coke all for like twelve dollars it was okay it wasn't fantastic it wasn't disgusting but you know it wasn't worth twelve dollars in my opinion so bag of rice which is like five bucks which I get what 40 servings of rice out of for five dollars so not too bad and I got these pork chops I got six of these these pork tenderloin type uh, affair they're pretty thick I got six of those for eight dollars. So green onions for a for a dollar. Snow peas were like a dollar thirty, dollar forty. Carrots about the same. Onions were about the same. Green on you know, all that you know, blah blah blah. A little bit of time and effort. You cook, you're good to go. So organizing, cleaning, putting things where they belong. So the cooler is is down on the floor now, so it's sitting up on top of the other uh, container. That container fits under there, so that's where it's gonna be. That's my dirty clothes bin from now on. The cooler, I was thinking of getting rid of it, but having it sit right there, when I when I get the other dishes cleaned out of it, and then I then I clean it out, start putting some ice into it, I might start using that again. I was thinking of getting rid of it, but whatever. So the other thing I need to get is a printer. So you know, gotta figure out where I can put that though. That's that's the biggest issue. So this the, the truck is not designed for OTR the way I live in the truck. You know, these trucks, you know, with the cabinets the way they are here, like that, like that, the way they're set up like this, you know, two weeks. 
three weeks, go back home for a couple days, clean everything out. Not for long term, you know, month after month as I live in a truck. You know, that's that's the, the thing that that people don't think about. Oh, looking good on that side. You only need to turn these over, just move them around here. Just get the different grill marks. We're gonna turn that back up to a little over medium, see if we can't get some heat in there. Then like I said, once that's done, we're gonna stir fry these vegetables. And then we are going to plate it all up, have a good old dinner. It is four, just we're going to 425 right now. It's going to be a little bit early for dinner, but I'd rather eat a little bit early today. So we'll see you in a bit.